Shane Ellis here, Tech Support. Today we are going to do a field retrofit of the heated solution for the Nautilus floor scrubber. With the main scrub brushes removed, go to the operator station. With the key in the off position, activate all four scrubbing switches in the down position. Once those switches are in the down position, you will turn the ignition key to the on position. Do not start, just go to the on position and your deck should drop. Over on the left hand side of the machine, open the brush deck door. Go ahead and mark the closest hose to you with masking tape or a wire tie. Once you've done that, go ahead and disconnect both lines. Once you have those lines removed, go ahead and remove those 90 degree fittings and install the 90 degree fittings that are supplied in the kit. Next you'll disconnect the O2 sensor and remove the O2 sensor from the manifold assembly. Next, you'll place a floor jack underneath the muffler catalytic converter assembly for support. Next, you'll remove the four nuts and bolts securing the TGT assembly to the catalytic converter muffler assembly. Next, remove the nuts securing the old assembly to the exhaust manifold and just leave the two front ones loose. Now remove the two front nuts and remove the old assembly. Make sure to hang on to the gaskets because these will be reused. Install the new exhaust pipe assembly, leaving the top bolts to the manifold loose. Now install your four nuts and bolts down at the flange at the muffler cat assembly. Use your jack that's supporting it to align the holes. Go ahead and tighten these up and once those are tight and secure, go ahead and tighten the upper four and remove the jack. Prior to reinstalling the O2 sensor, coat the threads with copper anti-seize. Reconnect the O2 sensor to the engine harness. Next, remove the hardware securing the radiator shroud to the lower frame assembly. And then remove the hardware securing the shroud to the upper operator station. And then remove the shroud from the machine. Now remove the radiator hose protection skirt. Next you will drain your radiator.
With masking tape or a paint pen, grab your key fitting and mark off on the radiator hose so that you can cut the section out to install this T fitting. The T fitting should be pointing straight to the back of the machine. Underneath the radiator across the I-beam there, go ahead and cut all your zip ties to get the hose and uh, harness assembly out of your way. Next you'll lay in the heat exchanger. It'll just kind of sit there on top of the muffler and cat assembly. Next install the bracket with the single bolt hole facing upwards. Once you have that against the frame, secure the heat exchanger. Next, you'll install these two hoses coming off the heat exchanger to the steel braided lines that you took off earlier. The bottom hose will go to the one that's marked with your masking tape or zip tie. When you finish installing those hoses to the braided hoses, go ahead and secure against the frame. Now install your feed hose, goes on the bottom nipple on the heat exchanger to the T-fitting that you installed earlier on the lower radiator hose. Next, remove the plug fitting from the thermostat housing. Apply pipe compound to the nipple fitting supplied in the kit, not Teflon tape, pipe compound, and install. Now install the longer blue hose to the nipple fitting to the top nipple fitting on the heat exchanger and secure. Next install the rubber barriers underneath the hydraulic hose that runs underneath the radiator on top of the heat exchanger and zip tie in place. Secure the flap to the radiator and then you're gonna cut two slits in that flap for those hoses. Now you can reinstall the flap assembly to the radiator. Prior to reinstalling the shroud, install the two brackets that are supplied with the kit as pictured here. Now reinstall your shroud.
Once the straw is secure, go ahead and zip tie the upper hose to that bracket. Resecure the hose and wire assembly to the front cross member and then refill the radiator. Next, set the parking brake, then chalk your rear wheel. Jack the machine up and place a six ton minimum jack underneath the front bumper, leaving jack in place. Directly underneath the operator station, you will see the pump and solenoid valves. Go ahead and remove those solution hoses. Remove the zip tie on the solution wire assembly. Install the right hose and secure. On the left hose to be installed, insert the orifice and push it down about an inch inward. The hose with the orifice in it will go to the left top fitting on the left solenoid, not on the pump. Once you have it installed, secure it. Next, re-secure your solution wire assembly. Next, install your shroud assembly. First, U-bolt, clamp, and then the shroud assembly, and then the hardware. You'll notice that the big notch is facing up to the left. Again, U-bolt, clamp, hardware. Then adjust and tighten down accordingly. Start the machine up, run the solution system, check for leaks. After operation, leak checks have been confirmed, put the machine back in operation. This has been another training video from Power Boss University.